Hey everyone, here's a question from Square and Square Root. The question is, find the smallest number by which 28,812 must be divided so that the question become a perfect square. So this number is not a perfect square. We have to make it perfect square by dividing with the smallest number. So how to find out the smallest number? Whenever they ask you to find out a smallest number to be divided or to be multiplied, then use a prime factorization method. So we're going to prime factorize this number and then I'm going to explain you how to find out the answer. So prime factorization of this number. So the number is 28,812. I'm going to start this with prime number which is even prime number which is 2 because the given number is even number. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start this with 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8. Again we have 8 so 2 fours are 8. Now here we have 1, okay? 1 doesn't go in 2 table, right? So I am going to put 0 here. Now I am going to consider 12 together. It's like how you do a normal division, same thing, I am just doing in a short way. If it's confusing you, you can divide the number separately and you can write down the answer. Or if you have your own method of doing it, go for it. So I, I got 12 here, so 2, 6 are 12. Now again this number is an even number, I will go with 2 again. So we have a 1, so in, in the beginning if the number doesn't go, we'll take a 2 numbers, right? So 14 I'm going to take, 2 7s are 14, we got 4, 2 2s are 4, then 0 doesn't go, so 0 will come, 2 3s are 6. Now we got 3 here, right? Now, so this number is an odd number, doesn't go in 2 tables, so let me try this with 3. So I'm just trying this with 3, I'm not sure if it goes, but I'm just, just trying it. So 3, 2's are 6, 1 is left out, that makes a number 12, 3, 4's are 12, and then we have 0, so 3 zeros are 0, and 3 1's are 3, so this number is going in 3 table. The next number is a, uh, we have a, a number which is odd number, but this number doesn't go in 3 table, I'm sure, so because 24 goes, but 0, 1 doesn't go in 3 table. So next prime number is 5, but this number doesn't go in 5 table too. So the next prime number is 7, so let me try this with 7. So 7, 3 is a 21, which means 3 will be the remainder, that makes a number 30. Then again, 7, 3 is a, okay, 30 we have, so let me take here, 7, 4 is a 28, then 2 will be the remainder, then 7, 3 is a 21, we got 343, 343 again goes in 7 table, so 7, 4 is a 28, then which means 6 will be the remainder, that makes a number 63, so 7, 9 is a 63, so again we got 49, which is a square of 7, right, so we will get here 7, 1's are, sorry, 7, 7's are 49, and I'm just doing the other, other part here, so we got 7 here, so 7, 1's are 7. Now let me write down all these factors what we got, we got all these factors, right, so we're going to rewrite this once again, so this will be equal to, I'll write down all these factors what we got, and then I'm going to explain you how to do it, so this will be, so 28,812 is equal to, 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 into 7 into 7 into 7. Now if the number is perfect square number, the factors you got here will be in a proper pairing. If the number is not a perfect square, then they will not be in a proper pairing. So this number is not a perfect square, so let's see what we got. So if I pair up this number, so this is forming a one pair. Pair means in a set, I should have a two factors, same two factors, so like a two is forming a one set here, right? So next is three, three is not having any pair, three is a single number, so it's not forming any pair here. Then this will form a one set and this will form a one set. So you can see that this three is alone, it doesn't have any pair, which means this is a number which has to be removed so that the number will become perfect square. So smallest number to be divided here will be uh, three. I hope it's clear because 3 is extra, so 3 is the smallest number to be divided. So let me conclude the answer. Therefore, 3 is the smallest number. 3 is the smallest number to be divided. 
so that's it i hope this question is clear it's oh, simple we have to just see which number is not in a pair and that number to be removed or that number to be divided actually so in case you have for the question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching